Hi, my name is Miguel from avoidarius.net. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install Windows 7 on virtual PC. Now, we can use a CD for the installation of Windows 7, or we can use an ISO like you see here. Go ahead and open virtual PC. Click Next. Create a new virtual machine. And click Next. I'm going to rename this to Windows 7. This is good just in case you you're using like Windows XP and you have your printers and all that already installed. You might want to try Windows 7 before you actually uh do a full install and then afterwards you find out that nothing is compatible with your system. Go ahead and click next and here where it says operating system select Windows Vista Windows 7 and Vista uses the same default configuration the minimum required uh, for installing the operating system now here I'm gonna click next and use a recommended size of RAM I'm gonna click on new virtual hard drive because I don't have any this is a new virtual machine and this is 65 gigs I'm gonna leave it default and click next. The reason why is because I'm planning to partition my hard drive. Now once the virtual machine is created double click on it and where it says C click on where it says CD and remember that I'm installing Windows 7 from a ISO but you can use physical drive E if you have a CD. Now I'm gonna select here my modified version of Windows 7. Click Action and I'll click on Control Alt Delete. It's going it's going to install. Adding uh loading the files. Windows 7 is a very easy operating system to install. Now here I'm using a 32-bit so I'm gonna select the x86 and click next. Accept the uh, license terms and click next. and now I have my brand new virtual hard drive but I'm gonna partition it so I'm gonna click on new you can go ahead and click next here but I'm gonna make my size smaller because in the future I'm planning to make a ghost backup a, a ghost image of my drive I'm gonna make my hard drive 10 gigs 10,000 megs and click apply if you want to partition it, you can partition your your operating system, which I highly recommend, and have 30 gigs for your operating system, and then the rest to store your files. Now I created uh, from disk zero my only drive, a partition one, two, and now I'm creating the third one. the The partition one is created for system files used by the operating system. Now I'm going to make my third partition a 10 gig which is which is 10,000 megs and this I'm going to use for uh an image backup. I'm going to click apply and I have my disk 0 which is my only hard drive partition in 3. And on disk 0 partition 2 
which is my original operating system I'm gonna select that and click next to install Windows 7 there remember when it reboots not to click enter when you see press any key to boot from CD or DVD Here it is again. Remember not to click enter when you see this. Now who is going to prepare your computer for first use? Put your name, the name of the computer. Now from here on it's re relatively simple. password if you have a password CD key product key and use uh, your preferred settings uh, your time zone really simple click next and select your network and that's it your virtual machine is working and if you like to download this version of Windows I'm gonna leave a link in the description box this is the uh, modified Windows 7 ATI version thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions